Welcome back you lovely bunch, thanks for tuning in again, I hope you're all doing good. Right, you're building your new bike or you're looking at a new bike to buy, do you get a 12 speed group set or do you go for a cheaper but higher end 11 speed group set, see, because this is the thing. So when I first started riding it was like 8, 9 speed, then it went up to 10 speed, then everyone was like oh my god you're still running 10 speed, I'm on 11 speed and now 12 speeds out, right, so now like teeth are smaller, chains are skinnier and more and more people are starting to run 12 speed. Whilst I love the huge gear range there's not a huge difference between a 12 speed and a 10 speed I'm gonna be honest what's really important is the ratios of those cogs not how many of them you've got so if you put a 10 to a 28 tooth road cassette on your gravel bike and you're running a one boy it's gonna be rubbish it doesn't matter if you've got 12 gears 15,000 gears it just doesn't matter I ride a variety of bikes mostly gravel and I recently built up a bike with the SRAM Apex 12 speed cable like group set it's a disc brake one as well and on my other bike I've been using Shimano GRX for ages let me let me just show you so SRAM Apex look so you get these like awesome shifters very nice very big they're actually really wide I'm not sure I'm really feeling the width but anyway SRAM Apex group set so in the box you get your crank you get your cassette you get some discs you get the bottom bracket and then you get your disc brake calipers and obviously your levers and I think the retail is about a thousand pounds but it doesn't matter we're not going to look at the retail we're going to look online for the cheapest version of this we can find and I found this group set everything that I got in the box so cranks bottom bracket rear cassette rear mech your shifters your brake calipers and the disc rotors all of that for 600 pounds so it is actually quite a good deal especially for like a modern 12 speed so that is the latest SRAM Apex group set I think it's meant to compete with the Shimano GRX it is a 12 speed but after riding it for a little bit do you know what I've realized so I've had this Shimano GRX group set on this bike well not this bike it's been on various different frames but I've taken the group set off put it on new frames every year and it's an 11 speed GRX and honestly I've never had issues with it I've never had problems with it I've changed my gear cable about three times so I don't know if you guys can see this can you see under the hood here this is like a very bodge job tape job here where I've had to tape all my shifter back together again I mean I could have just got a new one and put a newer one on from a, a newer Marin but it works right so why not whack a bit of tape on and keep using it so when bike brands release their newest models and all this stuff they're going to have like 12 speed group sets and all this stuff so they can like charge a little bit more right because everyone wants the latest and greatest stuff so specialized they're going to whack 12 speed group sets on all of their bikes i'm sure you're looking at bikes and they're all 12 speed and they're all very shiny but the thing is you could go for an older model group set that is only 11 speed and it'll cost you round about the same price. So as I said, the SRAM Apex group set, you can find it for about 600 pounds. And I found the GRX group set for about 650 pounds. Now there's a couple of bits missing from the GRX group set, like you don't get the disc rotors with it and you don't get a bottom bracket. But apart from that, it's pretty similar. So maybe you'll add like 100 pounds on, so let's say 750. But I think to most people, they're not gonna be buying a group set and building it on a bike. They're gonna be looking at a bike and wondering how it's spec'd. So if you're looking at a gravel bike and it's spec'd with the SRAM Apex 12 speed, like cable disc group set, the Explore once, great group set, don't get me wrong, a great group set. But if there's also a bike that has a GRX 11 speed group set on it, I'd pick the GRX. Is that weird? Like, maybe I'm just not buying into the whole, like, everyone needs 12 speed. Like, my mountain bikes have 12 speed, and they function fine. And maybe this is just the apex, because it's not, like, the highest level, it's not a SRAM red. And before anyone says that I'm hating on SRAM here, I prefer SRAM ETAP to Shimano DI2. I do. So this video isn't to hate on SRAM. This is more for you guys, for the consumer. And obviously, brands want you to buy their latest models. Everything has got so crazy expensive. Well, I, I don't say everything. And this is a bit of a problem with the cycle industry, and it's not a secret, you know. Certain brands just keep on pushing the price up and up and up, you know. They're reinventing, like, nothing, essentially. Specialised S-Works, for example. Like, every year it's faster, it's lighter, it's stiffer, it's, like, better. And, you know what, I think it's just BS. I do, I think it's marketing BS. I'm sponsored by a bike company, right? So Marin Bikes, you know, take, let's take the Headlands, for example. This is their like premium gravel bike. So do you know what the difference is between this one and the newer one I had? So this one has a removable like bolt thing on the fork. Let me show you. So this bit here is removable. 
on this one. Their newer model, they integrated that into the fork and that was the change they made, you know. Oh, and they changed the colour and, and this is why I really like Marin. Like they didn't like come out with like, oh my God, the new headlands, it's lighter, it's stiffer, it's stronger. No one's gonna test that claim. You can just write it on whatever. Do you know what they did? They made it a different colour and they made a quality of life change to make it just better, you know, because they've got a good frame. Don't need to like blank that it's lighter, strong, whatever. Anyway, I'm digressing. This has turned into a rant about bike companies. So Marin sent me over the Apex group set to build up, to test out, to see how it compares to the GRX. And I figured whilst I'm feeding back to them, I might as well feed back to you guys. So what I found with the SRAM Apex group set is, it was fine to set up, it was quite simple, you know, but as it got dirtier and I used it more, I'd notice a little bit of like time between shifts. So I'd go to shift down and it would take a little bit of time to actually do it. And sometimes it wouldn't actually drop down or it'd take like a fraction of a second longer you know it's, it wasn't as responsive it's not like you press the button and it just shifts i thought i had a kink in my cable or there was some issue with it so i like recabled it all and the problem was still there and the dirtier it gets the worse that problem is so whilst the gears still work if you've ridden say a shimano grx group set so i've ridden this group set in like iceland in america like all around the world all sorts of awful conditions and the shifting is spot on it's the same today as it was when i first got it and that's after years whereas the shram apex group set it's very much not the same it's not as good as it was when i first got it i mean it's not bad by by no means am i saying this group set is bad it's not a bad group set but if you guys are looking at buying a bike i think you'd want to know which one rides better you know and to me I don't care about it having 12 speeds. You can like fancy it up with 12 speed as much as you want, but do you know what? I would much rather have a really refined, nicely shifting, something that's gonna last me for years. It's gonna be okay in like awful weather, awful conditions, mud, slop, wet, like everything. I'd rather an 11 speed that functions under those extreme conditions perfectly than a 12 speed that doesn't. So I'm not sponsored by SRAM, I'm not sponsored by Shimano. I have no affiliation with like either of these companies. So this is an unbiased review. And like I said, I prefer SRAM ETAP to Shimano DI2. See, it's the opposite for me. I find that SRAM ETAP shifts really fast and it's really quick and it's like doo -doo 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 when you're riding, if that makes any sense. Whereas DI2, it's a little bit more so you can change the shifting speed of di2 there's a lot of tweaks you can make but i'm just saying out the box quick setup with no tweaking i do prefer shram etap over di2 but anyway i was feeding back to marin i was telling them why i like it why i don't like it so i figured i would let you guys know why i like it why i don't like it and like i say i don't hate it i love the fact that it's got a wide range cassette but we could all run a wide range cassette on our gravel bikes it doesn't need to be a 12 speed does it i mean it doesn't what do you guys think would you prefer an 11 speed over a 12 speed would you not really care do you still run in 10 speed 9 speed 8 speed 7 speed maybe or single speed i hope you guys enjoyed this remember to like comment and subscribe and i'll catch you guys very soon bye